In El Paso County, K through 12 schools now make up the greatest percentage of outbreaks. It comes as several local districts announce plans to move to fully remote learning entirely either this week or in the coming weeks. KRDO News Channel 13's Lauren Barnes joins us live now from home after speaking with districts on the outbreak list. Lauren, what'd you find out? Bart, according to El Paso County Public Health, there are currently 24 schools with active outbreaks, and that's more than any other category, including health care. We were all really pleasantly surprised when we started the school year. Things were going well. Until a third wave of COVID-19 sent cases higher than ever before. We asked the county's medical director where these school outbreaks are originating. What we've seen is more community spread coming into the school, and the schools do a pretty darn good job of minimizing the spread within the school. And again, it speaks to their social distancing and, and wearing of masks. A sign that school infections likely reflect what's happening in the county rather than the other way around. We're just a reflection of the community. And when the community spread um, is happening like it is in El Paso County, that's going to impact schools. Harrison School District 2 reports 52 cases district-wide this school year. Eight of those just recently confirmed on November 4th. And this week, District 2 announces its plan to go fully remote after Thanksgiving. Especially in the zip codes that we serve in Harrison School District 2, we felt like it was best to do our part from a public health aspect and move to e-learning to hopefully slow the spread of the virus in Southeast Colorado Springs. The James Irwin Charter Academy also made the outbreak list. The group of charter schools reporting its first outbreak this week at one of five campuses. Out of precaution, we, we close the school. Um, the students will be on remote learning today and, and uh, part of next week before Thanksgiving and we're going to go through and clean the school again. They plan to return to the classroom after that. New state guidelines out Wednesday continue to encourage in-person learning when possible. And that is exactly why Dr. Johnson says there were never rules set in stone for every school district across Colorado because what makes sense for an urban district may not make sense for a rural district or even a charter school. Live from home, Lauren Barnes, KRDO News Channel 13.